Hi everyone, today we're gonna be building a Victorian farmhouse. What I like about this house is that we have multiple angles of the exterior, so we don't have to entirely freestyle the design. This looks like a pretty big house. We have a pathway here leading up to the door, but we also have another one here, and you might wonder, what is that? It's a pathway leading up to the garage. It like goes all the way to the back of the house. As you can see, here's the garage. I'm gonna start with the floor first, and I'm gonna make it one block wide and five blocks tall. Does that make sense? Five blocks long? <laughs> Whenever I make a porch, I usually use the roof and the basement's game pass, but for this video, I'm gonna be using a basic shape for those people who don't have the basement's game pass. We're just gonna get the cube and then we're gonna resize it. And to make the steps, you're just gonna have to use another cube and resize it. Whoa, what is going on? My game is so glitchy today. I can't see the colors. <laughs> now we're just gonna place some walls around this porch and we have this little curved wall situation happening to the left. The basic railing looks exactly like the photo, but the only problem is that I, uh, I can't place it on top of the basic shape. <laughs> it looks like this, which is is really disappointing. On the bright side, we can place it on the sides here. I really want us to have a similar fence, so I'm just gonna use basic shapes and try to recreate it. Making the custom fence is not that hard, it's just expensive. And then I'm just gonna, you know, copy paste it around. For the walls, I'm gonna choose fog with horizontal planks. And I'm gonna just color it everywhere. Oh, <laughs> I was expecting a whole house. I forgot that I didn't do the whole thing. It is really hard to find a similar pillar. I feel like this rustic one kind of has a similar vibe, but it's got these circular things on it. What's the real definition of rustic? Rural. That's relating to the countryside. Unsophisticated. What a rude way to describe this word. <laughs> it means a small brownish European moth. I'm European and I, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Rustic moth. <gasps> oh, I do know what they're talking about. <laughs> I feel like that looks pretty okay. We also have a few of them over here. We have like three. Wait, yeah, I see three. We do not disobey the picture. We do not <laughs> disobey the photo. <laughs> We're gonna get these plain thin pillars and we will be putting them in the corners of the house. Just realized that the porch continues onto the side here. <laughs> if you look at the house from this angle, the garage is gonna be here and the pathway leading to the backyard is gonna be in this area, but it's not gonna match in Blocksburg because there's like some sort of bump out basically here. And I mean, we could add it, but if you look at it like this, it just, I don't know. The perspective of Blocksburg and the perspective of the real life house is very different. And I don't really wanna change the shape. For the door, I actually feel like this standard window door is the best match. I think the most similar window is the framed window as long as you resize is it? I see what looks like trim at the bottom of the house. I mean, usually I feel like you see this type of trim only in the interior, but it's okay. I'm gonna put it around anyways. Listen, listen, listen. At the front of the house, the trim is white, but then you go around the house like over here and you can see that it's made of like concrete. It's a small detail, but if you wanna like perfectly replicate this, you can go ahead and do the same thing as me. I don't know why you call this, but there's a white square on the wall. We're gonna just recreate that using the vertical planks and now resize it upwards. What I did was I use the copy tool and if I just like paste it, it does the extension for me. That's so cool. Okay, and now I'm gonna get these windows and I'm gonna put them up here as well. We're gonna raise them super high up. Oh, wait, we got a circle window. I think we did this for the modern farmhouse. Used structural, structural. <laughs> and then we've also got wall trim up at the top. I'm gonna use thin crown molding, I think. Wait, what? It's not at the garage? That kind of bugs me. Okay, I know that they didn't put it at the garage, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Now for the scariest part of this whole build, basically the roofs. Woo! Okay, 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 we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Oh no, we cannot do this. I feel like that doesn't look right. See, I feel like that looks more like it, but also I feel like that looks uneven. <laughs> oh, this is not going well. This is definitely not going well. I'm actually sad about the fact that we won't be able to use this as a room because, well, obviously our roof is there. So for the rest of the roof on the porch, we're gonna use the mansard roof. I'm using roof tiles with black. Oh, I gotta resize these. So if I make it three by three, it's gonna be a sideways gable roof, which is not what I want. But if I make it four by three, it's gonna be the type of gable roof that I do want. I am getting more and more concerned about us using this top floor. I think this is how I'm gonna do it with this wall. I'm just gonna have it go straight through. We got a few windows off to the side here. They got decent amount of space in between them. It is really hard to see the rest of the windows. Honestly, I'm just gonna freestyle this a little bit. Oh! <gasps> Wait, what? Did you see that? It went invisible. Do it again. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. It's not gonna go invisible. Well, why won't it go invisible again? Do it. So I'm gonna grab another Mansar roof and I don't know, I'm just gonna put it over here. Now we gotta get one of those slanted roofs. Boom. 
I got a notification. <laughs> My phone went boom too. But we're gonna use the traditional wide garage door. But we gotta do the little garage pathway. I'm gonna guess that it's like three blocks wide and it just goes off to the side like this. We got a little pathway over here as well. It's one block wide for sure. So you're driving and you do a little rotation. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And you enter your garage. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, more like crash into your garage. I gotta recolor this. I think I'm just gonna make it concrete. I see a swing, I see a swing. It's like around this corner here. On this top floor, there's like maybe four or five pyramid roofs and this one little awkward gable roof. And the last thing is the chimney. I'm just gonna use this one and I'm gonna rotate it. Living room, kitchen, dining area, garage. Bedroom one, bedroom two, bathroom. And also if you guys just wanna see like the whole plot, like where I put the fence and stuff, this is what it looks like. Obviously for the color scheme, we're gonna do a lot of blue and white, but I, I don't know what else to put. I don't think I've used logs as a floor, so I think I'm gonna do it for this house. Wait, can you layer these? Oh, wait, you can. Ooh, okay, wait. Actually, I like it as just one layer. So I'm gonna add pillars in every corner of the house, and then I'm also gonna put wall trim. I color the walls to be lily white. I feel like the house looks like vanilla cake. I kind of want to eat it. I'm gonna search rustic, because I feel like that's the vibe here. We're gonna get the rustic bench, put it over here. Should I like double up on it? Would that be weird? I really want to get some blues in here. I think I'm gonna do it with the pillows. A lot of you guys are like recommending that I do a Victorian house, and Victorian houses are like really scary because there's so much detail to them. I just decided to do a Victorian farmhouse because it's a little bit more simpler than just a Victorian house. I feel like Victorian houses have like so many pillows. I'm gonna make every pillow be some sort of variety of blue. Their TV wouldn't be anything too fancy, so I'm just gonna get this AccuSlim. I'm not gonna put it on the coffee table, it's just there for a second, okay? Don't worry. We have to take advantage of this, but I don't even know how to take advantage of it. Like, what do I put here? I guess the question is like, what's the point of it? I don't know either. Everything within my body is like, ooh, do this design. I love this design, like too much. I feel like I like this design to a fault, but like, let's be honest. Would a Victorian farmhouse have like these types of columns? I don't think so. Oh yeah, for sure. This place is gonna have multiple floor plants. Maybe even side by side to the TV. <gasps> wait, you can resize this? How tall can it be? Wait, 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 wait. I gotta experiment. Oh, okay. It can't reach the, it can't reach the floor above it, but it can reach the ceiling. Over here, I really wanna put some sort of bookcase, but there's a window. Maybe it's a good idea to put these two. We're gonna use the rustic counters. Mm, I feel like we can't put cabinets. What kind of fridge are we gonna get? Uh, I'll just go for the cheapest one because the house is kind of expensive so far. Like I saw the price. It's not looking too good. Maybe it's a little unrealistic to put these sticky notes here because you know, all the fumes and water will like splash onto the sticky notes. But I kind of like the idea of just having your recipes there. We've got to add some decor to this wall because it just feels so empty. So this is our dining area so far. I think it looks so much better. And I added the store, it leads to the garage. There's nothing like anything too crazy to do for the garage. I usually just like add a few crates and that's about it. If I'm feeling extra, I get a simplicity desk with a simplicity chair and I just make like a little workshop area. Now we get to move upstairs. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of decoration that needs to happen. I think this looks a little bit better for the top floor. I mean, it definitely feels very uh, garden-y, <laughs> but it's okay. We're gonna move on into this bedroom. I'm honestly just tempted to color this entirely blue. I'm gonna get the transitional single bed. I'm also gonna use the transitional nightstand. I feel a little iffy about the colors, but it's okay. I like rarely put any instruments in the room, so I'm just gonna put in a little acoustic guitar. So this is what the bedroom looks like, and I think that we can now move on into the bathroom. This bathroom is two by six, so we have a lot of room to work with. I'm gonna color the bathroom with subway tiles. I really wanna use a bathtub. I don't know which one, but I want one. I can definitely see this antique one. For the toilet, I'm honestly just picturing this very basic toilet. We also gotta get a sink. Should I use the counters from downstairs, the rustic ones? What if we just put an inset here. I think it's gonna look good. What else would a bathroom need? Okay, we got our bathtub, we got our towels, we got our toilet, and we got our sink. I feel like it's good. I feel like there's nothing else. We can move on into the bedroom. Now, this one's got a little bit of a custom closet that we gotta sort out. We don't have as much room to work with over here. Bedroom number one, we definitely had a little bit more space, but look at this. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, huh? I'm gonna use the exact same nightstands that we have in our other bedroom. I put the, the plant on the wall trim, and it's like all twisted up. Why, why do you look like that? What's going on? It's like the floor plant fell. Oh no, it's because it's on the roof. Oh yeah, because we have an unused room over here. The whole house cost 181,000 and this is what it looks like. Honestly, I think we did a pretty good job making it look like the photos. In my opinion, the hardest part of this build was definitely this roof. Like this was just way too hard. We obviously have our little porch area over here. Oh, we can see into the kitchen. That's nice. I like that. So this is our entrance. Obviously you can put your shoes here, put on some perfume, look at yourself in the mirror. I added these wallpaper decals. Still don't know how I feel about them, but they do have a little bit of blue. So there is that. 
that. And if we go straight from here, we are in the kitchen. We have all of our appliances and everything we need. If we keep moving this way, oh my gosh, there's so much to this house. We have our dining area in this corner. We have our pantry. And then we also have our garage door over here and we have our car. So yeah, this price actually includes the car as well. If we take this door, we can follow this pathway to our backyard. We got our swings, our fence, and obviously the entrance to the garage with your car. It's pretty cool actually. Like I like how this turned out. Anyways, moving on from the kitchen, over here is our living room. And then if we move over here, we have a little reading area and stairs leading up. Here is another little reading area. I don't know. I think that these are underrated. If we take a right from here, we enter the first bedroom and I decided to color this one entirely blue. So obviously we have our study nook. We even got a guitar. I like never place these. If we move on from this bedroom and we go forward and take a left, we are in our bathroom. It's a nice, simple bathroom. We did do this little inset thing. It's a little glitchy. I don't know if you can see that. Once you exit and you go straight, you're in the second bedroom. I feel like I sound so formal. It's because I'm trying to be a little like quick <laughs> with the tour. And now we are in the second bedroom. It's socks on the floor. you nasty. We got a custom wardrobe. Um, Cute. We love a custom wardrobe and my bills were paid. I don't know how much money I lost from paying those bills. Ouch. Probably, probably a lot. I tried to give the bedrooms a slightly different personality. I think I did a decent job with that. In case anybody wants to see it, this is the final bird's eye view of both floors. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!